Hey there, it's Trisha, and I want to go over the trades for Tuesday, June 2nd. We use a conservative approach to trading the S&P E-minis, and you can check that out at www.easyeminitrade.com. So we had a trend line break here. Um, this move here was uh, at uh, an announcement at 10 o'clock, so we typically will not trade right around the time of um, anything that is typically going to move the market. So we start out the day by looking at our economic calendar and you can go to that at www.nasdaq.com and under the news tab you'll see the economic calendar and you can just save it to your favorites so we don't we don't trade around that so we get a trend line break here and we enter in under that bar here and we'll use a half under the bar that breaks that closes underneath the trend line you can use a quarter you can use half whatever you choose um, half seems to work out well because that extra quarter keeps you out of something oftentimes when it's not going to move it goes in the opposite direction so that's been working out pretty well so we got in there on this bar and we actually this white line here is the 50 percent retracement from the high from the low to the high you can't see the low it's off the screen here but that's our 50 percent retracement area and oftentimes that is an area where you will get um, a little bit of a stall that in conjunction with our moving average right below us here and also if you look at our um, smaller tick chart you can see that we have a midpoint on our floor pivots right there so what we did was we moved our first target um, just above this area here so we got um, one and a half on that trade and moved our stop to break even on our remaining portion of our trade and obviously that was stopped out at break even or our, our entry I shouldn't say break even because it was a profitable trade so our remaining contracts were at our entry point we had a trend line break here but we have that area that right below us that we failed to break through here so what we wanted to do was let it break through this area and then we would look to um, take a squeeze short or something along those lines as you can see it never did break through um, so that wasn't it wasn't um, anything that we were looking to get on this occurred um, at 11, a little after 11.30 I don't trade during lunch um, from 11.30 to 2 that of course is a personal choice but you got a trend line break here this bar is the one that actually closed below it and right below you you do have a support area of the close from Monday right below you um, so it, but this uh, there was a squeeze firing off at the exact same time so if you wanted to take that trade using um, a squeeze short that would have probably been the way to do it in my opinion um, especially because it's during lunch and it's going to enable you to have a smaller stop. This also occurred during lunch. This was at 1.30, this trend line break. And again, you had a squeeze firing off long and that would have been the better trade to take um, because you're above that 50% area, you're above the moving averages and you have a squeeze firing off long. So that, that, would, have been, um, that would have been the trade to take right there. And you would have got a little bit. You wouldn't have gotten a lot, like a point or so. And then the rest of the afternoon, we just waited for something to happen and um, never, never did. This area that we kept hitting our head on is actually the high from Monday. So we kept hitting our head on it and just could not break through that. So um, those are the trades that set up for Tuesday, June 2nd. And you can go to www.easyeminitrade.com and check those out. Um, we do have a couple openings in the um, education slash chat room if anybody um, wants to shoot me an e email if they're interested a couple people um, are taking the summer off so we do have a couple spots open if anybody was interested okay we will talk to you guys tomorrow